everybody back to the channel here. This will close out the 2022 campaign here for Aduro Clean Technologies, who's engaged with the Independent Investor Channel to provide awareness and profiling services um, to let people in on what I feel like is one of the best kept secrets. Uh, Aduro has compensated me for my time and efforts. Those disclaimers are made available to you in their entirety in the description below. But as we close out 2022, I want you to truly understand what I feel like is uh, my conviction buy for 2023, hands down, no doubt about it. I believe Enduro is farthest away from um, the, the market volatility right now, having held up quite well, actually, ending 2022 slightly up, uh, which in the face of volatile markets is uh, an accomplishment in and of itself. I think it speaks to the resiliency uh, of this company. And with many of the catalysts being announced in 2022 to come into fruition in 2023, uh, I think it's fairly unfortunate to understand that Aduro was subjected to such poor market uh, activity, uh, whereas in more conducive markets, I think the news wouldn't have fallen on deaf ears, and I think Aduro would have enjoyed some appreciation as appropriate uh, for the magnitude and the acknowledgement of, of how big uh, those announcements were in the evolution of this young company. For you guys that don't know, Aduro Clean Technology is looking to solve the plastic problem. And the plastic problem, for you guys that have been sleeping under a rock for the last three decades, has exacerbated to the point of no return. And the solutions that are uh, available now on the marketplace uh, do vary. Um, and they are um, very widespread in their uh, their efficiencies. Um, uh, uh, pyrolysis is the uh, main uh, um, means that these large companies are using right now. And the problem with uh, pyrolysis is the heat uh, input uh, and the cost to that input, which makes it kind of a wash wash uh, in that um, they are able to achieve in fairly no, uh, low efficiency numbers, close to 60%. Uh, of recovery on their feedstock that they're taking in uh, by adding high levels of heat to basically deconstruct the molecules um, in their specific reactors and how they're um, uh, applying this heat to the feedstock and breaking down the, uh, the molecules in a destructive manner. Uh, Aduro Clean Technologies takes a different approach with their uh, intellectual property and their patent protected uh, um, approach here through their hydrochemiletic uh, approach is a, a much lower heat input uh, and much more aims to take um, uh, the hard to recycle plastics, which has been uh, primarily those feedstocks that are made of polypropylene, polyethylene and polystyrene. You need to learn yourself up on this because Aduro is more of a story at this point, okay? It is an opportunity to get in on the ground floor of a company that has the technology and the technology, it works. It's been third-party verified um, uh, by a lab that uh, Aduro uh, contracted to actually ground truth their technology. This hydrochemicletic is real uh, and it works. And we just had another double down of validation in 2022 with the Duro Clean technology being accepted to the Shell Game Changer program, which is an accelerator program looking to bring technologies like Aduro uh, under the fold and get them to commercialization. Why? Why is that such an interesting uh, proposition now? Because the plastic, prog uh, plastic problem that I discussed at the top of the video is very real and we're being consumed in plastic. Just take a step back and think about how plastics dominate our day. And they play into every aspect of our life. They're used in packaging our children's medicines. They're used in packaging our bottled water. They're used in all types of packaging that we use and consume and discard. And up until finding the Aduro Clean Technologies opportunity and what these guys are trying to do, my naive understanding of how bad we are at recycling plastics to the tune of about 91% of all plastics that go into the recycling bin or wherever it goes when you leave your household ends up in either the oceans or the landfills. They do not go to what we are all driving toward 
and that is a cyclical economy. And I'm going to talk about that in just a moment and how Aduro is, is critical to making sure that we can increase our success rate, um, which is not a success at all, only being able to um, recycle 9% of the plastics. And a lot of those plastics are those plastics out there that are actually easy in the cycle and economically um, uh, conducive to actually recycling. The, the tough stuff, and especially the contaminated plastics, when you use your Tide bottle, and you take that out of the laundry and it's done uh, dispensing its um, its chemical detergent, that goes also in and it's very difficult to process those materials through feedstock, especially when you're looking to mix those materials together and expect to have a predictable product on the back end after this feedstock is, is, feed, is fed into a, a reactor of sort. Now, the important uh, advancement that Aduro has made here in 2022 is to announce that their R2 reactor uh, is 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 finalized, and it will be brought to assist in customer engagements. Imagine the opportunity to actually see this ability of of a reactor to actually take in feedstock and produce a product on the back end. Now, by adjusting the chemistry. Uh, in this uh, reactor, they can actually impact and and monitor not only the quality of the feedstock, but actually change the parameters, the heat, the the input to the treatment of what they're doing to actually impact the actual product that they're making on the back end. Now, what this allows Aduro to do and what it more importantly allows them to do is boast to the consumer that they can actually take and upcycle their feedstock into more desire, desirable products. Once, this, once this, these molecules are broken down in a way that gives them a slurry, for the lack of better terms, that they can use to actually create more plastic product, that only with every new piece of plastic uh, generated by the use of this technology that Aduro brings is one less piece of uh, plastic that could end up in the oceans, one less piece of plastic that could end up uh, in our landfills. But more importantly, it helps to supplement or helps to really evolve this secular economy where our plastics don't just go to degrade. They don't just go to uh, deteriorate in the landfills. They don't just deteriorate to end up in our water tables and the, the very soil that we're looking to plant our food in. Guys, this is something that is incredibly important. And in this economy where people are taking more sensitivity to the impacts that we have on the environment, both with carbon emissions, uh, with our uh, carbon footprint, with reducing our carbon emissions and keeping track of our ESG scores within companies, it only begs the question of when we are going to be able to look at this plastic problem and identify that we are actually solving the plastic problem. That is the key here, guys. And it's going to take many, many years for the problem to be identified as being solved. Because right now, with the creation of the plastics that we're creating every single year, which runs in between around 350 million tons of plastic, upwards of statistics that I've seen of 400 million tons of plastic, it begs the question, when are we going to address this itch issue in a serious manner? Okay. Now, there are geo uh, uh, political and countries that are coming together on a geopolitical uh, common forum and actually looking to establish mandates that make sure that by 2025, the companies that are producing plastic are taking an onus on the new plastics that are created, 25% to be exact, uh, exact on any new plastic that's actually put out into the marketplace has to be able to be proven to be able to be entered into the secular economy that I speak of. Now, a Duro clean technology is a cut above the competition currently. When I talked about the pyrolysis and the high heat and high energy input, the efficiencies of those processes just are not there, guys. Um, we have many companies out there that are and have been awarded massive valuations in this space from $750 million 
all the way up to one to dare I suggest two billion dollars in this in, in, uh, industry that is on the very inception of bringing solutions to bear and having those solutions put to the proof test and understanding which solutions are going to get us to that circular economy as quickly as we can. A Duro Clean technology is a cut above. It's the number one technology that's brought to bear. There's going to be people out there that are going to disagree. There's going to be people out there who say that they have the best solution or they have this and that and this and that for whatever reason. What you have to look at is the low energy input that energy uh, that a duro brings to bear number 1 so the cost of actually running the solution is key number 2 the efficiency of the system you have to look at how efficient the technology as it works against the plastic and the very complex chemical molecules that make up these high uh, high hard to break down plastics that have been historically impossible to break down and how efficient they are in actually breaking down this uh, these chemicals. Now, a, a DuroClean technology sports is an efficiency rate of up over 90% of recovery. Guys, this is incredible. The loss, a little bit of loss with the um, with a little bit of ash that comes out of the process is to be expected. But a duro to be able to support and and sport a ninety percent recovery rate with their technology only speaks to my conviction going into twenty twenty three how it's at least one to put on your watch list and monitor this story going forward. A duro has had two capital raises in twenty twenty two, one in the tune of one point four million. The last one with the issuance of some stock and some units uh, through their warrant program of one point one million. This company's well capitalized with zero debt, as well as an internal share ownership of close to fifty percent. So if you want to be in that latter half of share ownership right alongside with institutions, I suggest you take a look at this opportunity closing down 2022 at what I feel like is a prolonged recessed stock price only being provided to those uh, would-be share owners in the company that are identifying this opportunity early and often and made possible by a stock market where very little, if any companies at all, especially the speculative microcap space is getting any type of favor whatsoever. And so for 2022, for a Duro Clean Technologies to exit 2022 with uh, an actual positive gain is a testament to how strong this company looks and is poised to make big waves in 2023 as we close out this year and keep an eye on the amazing technology and the advancements of the Duro Clean Technology as they look to take the R2 to the customers in their engagement, looking to uh, uh, walk the path in the Game Changer program, the accelerated program with Shell Oil, uh, as well as how they look to leverage their capital and put that capital to work in the newly renovated Aduro Clean Technologies headquarters uh, in Canada. Very exciting times for this young company. It's going to be fantastic to see uh, them leverage with their uh, current uh, relationships and the relationships they have with the universities and the talent pool that can be drawn on because this is not just an Aduro problem. This is not just a few companies that are working on this problem now, guys. This is a global crisis. And for the few companies like Aduro Clean Technologies and others that are putting their solutions forward to the rigor of understanding how cost-effective it can be and how efficient those technologies can be, it's going to be exciting to see which one wins out and which one actually can boast the uh, technology that can actually say we've solved the plastic problem going into 2023 and beyond. The time is now. The time is serious. The problem has never been so big as it is in 2022. We have turned a blind eye to this problem long enough, and a Duro Clean Technology is stepping forward with their advanced hydrochemolytic 
uh, technology and actually has the solution to bring to bear to solve the plastic problem. Guys, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave your comments at the bottom. Uh, hit the thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy content like this. We will continue to cover this story intimately as it is my number one conviction pick for 2023. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the message. And good luck in your investment future. Thank you.